Hello everyone, I am Manish on behalf of Barthakur IS Academy. We'll present you the newspaper analysis of 1st July 2024. During this whole series of newspaper analysis, we will dive deep into all the important facts related to the topic to understand in a comprehensive manner. So let's start. The first topic we are going to look into are is Curtain Falls on British Era Laws. As we know, uh, last year, winter session of the parliament, three new uh, laws, uh, criminal laws were passed. Uh, those are uh, replacing the traditional uh, colonial laws that we all know by the name of uh, Indian Penal Code, IPC, CRPC, Criminal Procedure Code and Indian Evidence Act. Those have been replaced by our new uh, laws those uh, that are known by the name of Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita, second is Bharatiya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita and third is Bharatiya Saksha Adhiniyam. So the new uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, he has told, uh, he, he has told that uh, these new laws are mainly focused on providing justice rather than focused on penal action. What does penal action mean? Let's see. So, a penal action of is uh, given by any state or any private party for the purpose of imposing penalty towards any crime committed. So, some uh, suppose someone has committed a crime, rather than analyzing why he committed the crime or a under what circumstances he has committed the crime penal action mainly focuses on penalizing means giving a penalty on the crime committed suppose a man uh, committed a robbery he committed a robbery so rather than analyzing the situation under which he went through the robbery uh, penal action will focus on what punishment can be given for that robbery. Suppose that robbery amounted to a, a rupees of 10,000. So, his uh, punishment would be 3 months in jail or something like that. Anything it can be. So, it is punitive rather than corrective. Punitive is imposing uh, any punishment rather than it uh, correcting the nature of the person. What will happen in punitive is people will after some time people will commit crime knowing that they will just have to pay a fine or they will just have to uh, stay in jail for like 2 months, 3 months and after that they will come out and again do the same thing which is happening in our day to day life. We all know that what the criminals have been doing. But in corrective nature what will be is done is they will be uh, given uh, sessions, you know, uh, therapy sessions will be given. They will given psychological help to understand what is the mentality behind that crime committed. All those things which will uh, further help in analyzing why the crime had been committed and reduce the uh, risk in the further coming days. So, this is what the current news is and today is 1st July so from 1st July 2024 these three new crimes have been applicable in all the states of India so let's understand uh, let's uh, see some of the new features which were not there earlier in the uh, colonial laws laid down by the Britishers but now these uh, features have been introduced in this new three of the uh, laws which have been passed by our Indian Parliament. So first one is that is a very important and for that only uh, like justice is delayed because some suppose a crime is committed somewhere and you go to the nearby police station or you go to seek help of the nearest police station they will deny you any support by saying that this crime does not fall under our jurisdiction area. So you have to travel to the 
uh, travel to that uh, particular police station to lodge the complaint. Now, in zero FIR rule, victims can go to any nearest police station available, any nearest police station, and they can lodge their complaint, irrespective of the jurisdiction of the police station, so that action can be taken immediately, rather than the victim running around finding which jurisdiction this uh, place uh, like crime will be there so that is a very much you know uh, feasible feature which the uh, law new law provides then another one of the feature is it provides online registration of police complaint now that we all know we are in the era of internet so and everyone almost every everyone carries a smartphone with them so online registration of complaints can be done very easily at the uh, tip of your fingers and then one of uh, some of the feature features of these laws are mainly oriented towards the women uh, population or women's they are mainly focused on women's women's so in case of rape in case of a rape, the victim uh, victim's uh, statement will be recorded by a police officer which was not there earlier and in present of in presence of her guardian. So and the report and the reports, the medical reports and all have to come within a seven days of time. So they have st uh, given a stipulated time duration that within seven days only. Uh, the reports have to come so that further investigation can be carried out and there is no delay in justice then another one of the main features of this uh, new laws are earlier there was no uh, particular definition of what is uh, terrorism or organized crime but now they have defined what is terrorism what falls under the ambit of terrorism what can be like recognized as terror uh, terrorist act and organized crime so these uh, new terms have been defined in the new uh, the, the three new laws passed by our parliament so let's uh, go to the next topic the next topic is antelope like mammal from Bhutan, Bhutan seen at lowest elevation in western Assam so this topic is uh, like important from uh, prelims point of view so what has happened is the current news is a mammal known as mainland sero which usually lives in higher altitudes of bhutan so according to iucn um, these mammals usually uh, live in habitats of around 200 to 3000 meters of altitude which is mainly available in Bhutan, uh, those hilly areas. And uh, these are mainly seen in Phipsu Wildlife Sanctuary in Bhutan and Royal Manas National Park in Bhutan. The Manas National Park, which is present in Assam, that is different. And the Royal Manas National Park that is present in Bhutan, that is different. So that lies in a higher altitude. And our Manas National Park, which is there in the, our Bongaigao district, that is like uh there is in a lower altitude so recently this mainland cerro has been spotted in raimona national park raimona national park is a very new national park uh, in kokrajar district so it was seen there so some of the important facts about this is raimona national park as we all know uh, it's located at kokrajar district it was declared as national park on 5th june 2021 and the scientific name of mainland cerro is capricornis Sum sumatran sumatrensis thar so this name becomes important because you might never know what apsc or any other our state government exam might ask and like since this uh, topic is in news so any questions might come from uh, related to this topic like location of the Raimona National Park or when it was declared in declared as a national park so these are some important facts 
to look upon in this news so let's get to the next news so this is world uh, this is the statistics day was observed in india on 29th of june so 29th of june is uh, celebrated as statistics day in india so this uh, this year on 29th june it was the 18th statistics day so <clears throat> Uh, this day is celebrated to commemorate the birthday of Professor P. C. Mahalanobis. We all know P. C. Mahalanobis. He was the man behind the heavy industrialization under the second fifth-year, five-year plan. The five-year plan that was uh, that was in action from uh, from the time we got independence from 1947 to 1952. That was the first uh, plan that was based on Keynesian. Yeah, that was based on Keynesian's principle, and the second five-year plan, which uh, in which India focused on heavy in industries, that iron, iron ore, or steel, those industries were given more preferences under this second fifth-year plan, and that was the brainchild of. Uh, none other than Professor P.C. Mahalanobis. So, that's all for today. We will come up tomorrow again with the newspaper analysis of 2nd July. Hope this uh, information which I have uh, conveyed is in, uh, useful and uh, will help you in your preparation. Thank you. Bye-bye.